So we get to look at the importance of taking family history um, when you are talking about when you are talking to a patient in orthopedics. All right. So you take family history too in orthopedics. Although orthopedics is mostly um, having to do with bones and all of that, you still take family history. Okay. So we get to look at how to be able to take this family history in orthopedics. So in family history, you are trying to look at things like does any illness run in the family? Okay. So don't worry, we'll tell you guys why you actually need to know this information. You are trying to ask the patients, this thing that has happened to them, have it actually happened to anybody in their family? All right. They also ask for general chronic illness, like maybe asthma, hypertension, many other chronic illness. You ask them, is any of their sibling suffering from any chronic illness or any chronic condition? All right. Then also, you should be able to collect relevant family history depending on the person present illness. Do you understand? So let me say somebody has a car accident and fractured their bone. You're asking them, has anybody had any car accident and fractured their bone? They might be confused. Like, we are trying to find out if generally they have a problem of soft bones in the family. Do you understand? So um, looking at this now, for family history, patients often wonder or worry about inheriting a disease or passing it on to their children. Do you understand? Okay. So um, to the doctor, information about musculoskeletal disorders in the patient his family may help with both diagnosis and counseling. So let me say if your family, the doctor uh, discovers that there's a muscle disorder that runs in the family, or there's a problem with bones that runs in the family, it can now counsel you on how to choose your spouse. You get it. So when dealing with a suspected case of bone or joint infection, ask about communicable diseases such as what tuberculosis or sexually transmitted disease in other members of the family. Okay? So in taking a family history, it involves the following. You can talk to the relatives. All right? So you start with the oldest relatives. So you ask for permission to even see certificates of them. Or in our side of the world, people are always truthful. When they meet doctors, there's a way they actually respect doctors. Okay? So you don't really need to see certificate. They always tell you everything you need to know. All right? They record information. You take written notes or record interviews. You record basically every useful thing you have heard from the patient. Okay? They create a pedigree. You make a record of the family births the marriage, the death, the burial records, and the pedigree chart, and family group sheets. Some of these things are not really needed, you get. But you are just saying in, in doing it properly, this is, how you to, this is how you need to do, okay? The asking questions. You ask questions about fam, uh, family members' age, their major medical problems, if there's any chronic health conditions in the family, if anybody has been hospitalized and why they were hospitalized, you ask if there have been anybody who have undergone any major surgery, right? They ask for reproductive or pregnancy concerns. They ask if there's any known inherited or genetic conditions in the family, right? So, so typical questions you might actually need to ask them is what? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay. Do you have any children? Are your close relatives alive? Are your parents alive and well? Is anyone taking any regular medications? Okay. If anybody is dead in your family, how old were they before they died? Okay. Do you know the cause of what killed them? Does anyone in your family had any serious illness? That's why we're talking about chronic illnesses. Okay. So the bottom line of this is trying to know about the family history of the person is actually quite important to history taking, all right? So that's how to take family history in orthopedics.